Welcome back to our Plotly crash course. And in the previous lessons, we created some charts and now it's time to explore the cool features that you can get with just a simple line of code and Plotly. Your support and feedback have also been great. So thank you for that. I hope you enjoy this next video. I wanna show you something else that you can do with a scatter plot. And this time I'm gonna to have to use more years. So I'm gonna import this um, Europe, but with more years. So actually for, for each country. And we're going to have a chart that's going to have some facets. And we're going to have one facet per, um, per year. Let me demonstrate. So up until here, it's you already know. And then we just need to add this argument here. And let me show you another one. The height, it's going to be 500. And you close it. Don't forget to show. And look at this. Very easy, one line, and you get this fancy stuff with four different plots in it. And you can even play around with the legend here in the countries. You can select and deselect. If you double click, it's just one. So you can see how Greece evolved on the 40 years. Uh, and if I think you double click again, yeah, so back to square one. And you can still do this, which is really cool. So one line and a lot of interactivity. But before we use the customizations available on the graph objects, I'm going to show you another nice way that you can easily change your charts completely with just one piece of code. And we're going to do the same uh, scatter plot this time for these years. So for all countries. So now we're going to have more continents. And let's see. So up till here, it's kind of easy. The same thing that we've been doing before. But now I'm going to do a facet row. It's going to be continent. Continent. The facet column, because now we're going to have both. It's going to be year. height 1000 and let me use another line the template I'm going to use plotly dark and this simple thing is going to change your chart completely took a little bit to load but here it is so you have the same scatter plots, but now in a different, different mode, uh, plotly dark. So you have this link and you can check the other templates. And if you go to that page, you're going to have their names. So these are the ones that you can use. You can, you can have them on your notebook if you run this code. And you also have some examples. Actually, they do one, um, one notebook, one cell to create, to generate all these charts. They actually use a for loop. And so you have the Seaborn here, you have simple white, none. You can, you can play around with it. You can, they have a lot of stuff that you can just simply come over here and grab it. If we change it to Seaborn, so just by changing this, um, you completely change the way your charts look. 